everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. Today I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to manage your wig in the wind. So you're just about ready to go out and you might be out all day, you might just be going back and forth from, from the car, but you notice that there's a lot of wind out there today. It's super windy. Um, what do you do? There are two goals that you're going to have in mind that day. Number one is how do I secure that wig, right? You don't want it to be gone with the wind. Um, number two, how do I protect the fibers? Because the wind whipping up the fibers really do uh, some damage. There's a lot of friction going on. Kind of Think of a flag <clears throat> as it's being battered by the wind and it, it eventually tatters. That's what's happening to the wig. So securing the wig and protecting the fibers are our two main goals. Securing the wig is going to be really the easy part. Um, I feel like the best product out there right now is this It Stays Body Adhesive. It's completely water soluble. It's a roll-on. It's got a roller ball there. So what I would do is I would uh, apply a thin layer of this around the perimeter of the cap hold it down for about 10 seconds, kind of let it dry, and I trust me, that wig isn't going anywhere. I wore, um, I wore my Noriko Dolce up to Kelly's Island. It was a super windy day. We were on a golf cart with the wind, and there were people behind in front of me. My wig didn't go anywhere, and I secured it with its stays all around the perimeter of the cap. This is my Renee of Paris Sonoma in Rose Gold R. I wore this to San Francisco last year. And uh, one day in particular that we were exploring um, outside and we were riding the trolleys and we went to the Golden Gate and, and doing a lot of sightseeing. It was super windy that day, especially closer to the, the shore. And um, this It Stays held this wig on all day long. So this is by far the best way to secure your wig at any time, but especially during windy days. Some other methods of securing your wig in the wind, in addition to or instead of the it stays, would be the little security clips. Some people like to sew those in throughout the, the cap of the wig. They kind of snap and hook into your natural hair and that will prevent the wig from moving. Um, a wig grip is another idea that you could use. A wig grip is uh, a thin headband type material that you put on under the wig and it just gives it a nice snug and secure fit. So one of my likely solutions for being inconspicuous in my wig wearing in the wind is to wear a hand tied wig, right? The hand tied caps um, when the hair lifts up it doesn't uh, expose any wefting or anything like that. It's really unlikely that anybody would notice that I was wearing a wig but do I really want that wind battering my $400 hand tied wig? I don't think so. And it's true with other lower cost wigs as well. You just really want to protect those fibers. So there's a couple of things that you can do. To protect your fibers you can use hats, scarves, headbands, elastic bands, anything to tack down that hair and protect it from being battered by the wind. I'm wearing my famous Noriko Dolce that withstood the winds of Kelly's Island and I just want to give you an idea of what I did to protect the fibers of this style um, and still look kind of cute and fashionable at the same time so I wasn't really into wearing any kind of hats just because the hats can also blow away it might not be really practical in the wind so what I did was um, I used this very thin elastic headband and you can get these at any drugstore. But what I did was I stretched it over the hair. I secured it right here in the front and then I moved the rest of it all around the perimeter of that wig cap. Okay, so basically all around the wig cap line here. Now what that did was it, it tacked that hair down so it wasn't out there just kind of flailing in the wind and getting battered to death. This was one uh, idea that I had when I was riding in the golf cart uh, back and forth across the ferry. Now there were times like when we had lunch and stuff I would just take it off and it was easy to do uh, without and I didn't have to have a mirror or anything else to do that. I just kind of slipped it off but again I had the it stays on, the wig wasn't going anywhere and then I used this to secure the fibers. So in the summertime uh, a gust of wind can come you know if it's 
preceding a storm or something like that, I always had a visor with me. This visor actually doesn't have a back on, it's kind of a tension. It has some tension there, and so what I would do is place that over the wig hair. All right, so what that would do would just be a fashionable way of keeping the fibers kind of tacked down on the head. If you had a ball cap, you could do the same thing. As long as your ball cap was tight enough that it wouldn't uh, come off in the wind, that would keep the hair tamped down enough to protect the fibers. On milder, more milder wind days, uh, a square bands might be the perfect solution because the square band's gonna help secure the wig and uh, keep the fibers kind of tamped down. So in a wind, I might decide that I wanna take this kind of off of the face, pull out just a couple, but the more hair I can, can trap under those arms, it's just, it's not going to be going anywhere. It's not going to be flailing in the wind. Here I have on a longer style. This is Noriko's Jaden in Sugarcane R. So if I wanted to wear this and it was really windy, I would use my It Stays Adhesive all up under that lace front and uh, possibly on the sides of the cap there just to secure it and make sure it's not going anywhere. But then I want to protect the fibers. So what I would be doing is looking to secure as much hair as I could, bind it up so that it doesn't just flip around in the wind. So I think I would probably secure it back into a ponytail and make sure the sides are taut and maybe use little clips there. That way the, the, the wefts are not exposed and the hair is not uh, flailing around. You could do a bun or a side pony to achieve the same thing. You could do a ponytail in combination with a ball cap. It's winter time. You can use a ponytail in combination with a stocking cap. Also in the winter time, I just purchased uh, one of these blanket scarves. It's pretty large and it's very versatile. You could use it as a wrap, a poncho. There's a lot of things you could do, so why not use it to secure your hair? This would be appropriate if you're out in the wintertime and it's windy and you don't want your hair blowing around. Yet it's very easy to come indoors, remove it, and fluff your hair back into position. The last thing I want to tell you is that when you've been out and you've been in the wind, you've done your best to secure your wig, you've done your best to protect the fibers, but there was still some friction going on. Um, when you get home, it's very important to condition that wig. Just use some conditioning spray or some silicone spray. You wanna make sure you give it a nice drink of moisture. That wind is really going to dry out these fibers. So you want to quench that with some conditioning spray or some silicone spray right away. If you have any uh, snarls or tangles because of the wind, make sure you work those out with some detangler spray. You could even go ahead and shampoo and condition it very well and let it dry and it should bounce right back for you. Thanks everybody. These have been my tips and tricks for managing your wig in the wind. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.